Hello, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Today, we have a special guest for a special day. Let me introduce Dark Meadow, the Pact. Just think for a moment about how rare it is to find survival horror of any kind of decent quality for mobile devices these days. For those who aren't familiar with them, the games of this genre usually contain various specific components, the main purpose of which is charging the game with an atmosphere of fear and anxiety, like in gothic literature and horror films. It is clearly understood that tablets and smartphones with tiny screens and subpar graphics abilities pose a true challenge in creating atmospheric games of this nature. But thanks to guys with serious intentions, like those from Phosphor Game Studios, a game like this saw the light yet, and thus deserves its place in the pantheon of survival horror. And all that is thanks to a strong plot and creative use of graphics, which should be the basis for pretty much any kind of game. In somewhat a cliché move with the classic use of amnesia, the protagonist wakes up in an old and dilapidated hospital with no recollection of who he is and how he got there. Note to self, stop drinking so much! On waking up, you hear a concerned, maniacal voice saying that the end is coming soon. Come on now, I just started the game. It can't be over already. Of course, the only way to sort anything out is to grab yourself by the balls, get off your lazy butt, and start looking for answers to your questions. Alright, now comes the movement. Much like other games with similar quest features, is that you have to tap the key point marked with a special sign and your hero goes there. Then suddenly, everything goes nuttier than a peanut factory, and every awful thing you could imagine crawls out from under the floor and approaches you. And while it's coming closer, you have the opportunity to attack it with ranged weapons, but as soon as it gets within a certain range, the battle changes to close combat. Now you can make hits with swipes at the screen much in the style of Fruit Ninja, and defense is made with taps on the shield or at the sides of the battle zone. You can also use medical kits and grenades during the battle. You have the opportunity to kick some major butt, which is why it costs real money. As for me, the more hardcore a game is, the more interesting it becomes. Donation is for those people who like working but not playing, and that's not us. Most of the goodies in the game, including the character's upgrades, will be bought on your way through the game by exploring hidden places and defeating monsters. Dark Meadow is a really well-crafted, scary, interesting, and incredibly beautiful survival horror game. This is a game that is so striking with its music, voice acting, location design, atmosphere, and graphics that you sometimes forget that you're not playing the game on a PC. I recommend it to everyone who likes quality, graphics, storyline, and thrills in their games. That's all for today. If you like this, then download it. Put like, subscribe to our channel, and join the group. All sorts of interesting things await you there. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. See you!